case, uh, we're going to talk about uh, how to wire an outlet here in the country I was born in. When I was a year and a half old, I remember looking behind an outlet and seeing the white wire on the silver screw. They didn't always have the green screw then, and the black wire on the brass screw. And uh, there are two different ways they can be done. They can be wired in uh, parallel, or they can be wired in series, and I'll show you the difference. It's not in series like uh, the old Christmas lights used to be, is if you unplug something, then everything else goes off. So let's take a look at how the two different ways they can be wired. Okay, so in uh, both cases, you're going to uh, pigtail your uh, ground wires together. So I'll start twisting my first two. Cut the end off so it's even. And we will put a wire nut on it. And we will fold our wires back into the box. Okay, so now we'll strip our wires to the about an inch, which we want. Okay, we'll start by hooking up our ground wire. We'll loop our wire the direction the screw turns. And you always put the bare wire around the green screw. And this is what I remember looking at when I was a year and a half old. The white wire was always on the silver screw. Okay, and we'll turn our outlet around and we'll do our black wires. See how the brass screws are darker than the ones on the other side? You want to close your loop and have it going the direction that the screw turns.
Now the only disadvantage to wiring it this way is if this little tab broke out here. This is the power coming in, this is the one going out to the next outlet. You'll have arcing here and you'll lose power down the stream. So that's why I call it wiring the outlets in series. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how we do them in parallel. Okay, so now we'll start wiring this outlet in uh, parallel. So we'll take and pigtail our white wires together. We'll get our insulation even at the bottom here. See how the insulation is even at the bottom? I'll start my twist with the, fir the first two wires. I'll bring my third one in, get the insulation even at the bottom. Twist them together so they're even. Cut the end off so it's even. See how the uh, insulation is even at the bottom and the copper is evenly twisted here at the top and the copper ends evenly at the top here. We put our wire nut on. And see how I get a nice even twist down below the wire nut. And we'll fold that back into the box. Okay, then we'll do the same thing with the black wires. We'll get them, the insulation even at the bottom. We'll start our twist. We'll bring our third wire in here, getting the insulation even at the bottom. And we'll twist them in evenly. Cut the top off so it's even. And we will put our wire nut on. And we can fold them into the box like this. Again, we put the white wire on the uh, silver screw, the direction that the screw turns. And there it is. It doesn't matter which screw you use because they're both have the same potential. Take the black wire. using my, these two fingers here to kind of like pull back so that the whole loop gets under the screw head. And we'll fold these wires into the box and I keep, see how I, I fold the ground wires and I keep them down towards the bottom. And there's how, how the twisting looks. 
See how the wires are twisted evenly? They're even at the top, the copper is even at the top, and the insulation is even at the bottom. Alrighty, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed my video. Peace. And uh, always remember to turn the power off before working. And uh, consult a certified electrician if you are not experienced with electrical. Thanks for watching.